Hi, I'm Ryan Lawler. I'm here at Famous's San Francisco headquarters. Famous is a JavaScript development platform which already has 70,000 developers uh, signed up in alpha. Today they're going to be releasing a lot of new uh, widgets and showcases for some of the things that you can do with Famous. So I'm here with Steve Newcomb of Famous. Uh, I guess before we get into all the ultra geeky stuff that you're announcing, what is Famous? So basically Famous is a JavaScript development platform mm -hmm. that lets you build apps, games, advertisements, uh, interfaces on anything from a mobile phone to a tablet or a computer or even a television set. Uh, we've been working on this for over two years and we're finally ready to announce some pretty big announcements. Uh, one that I'm really super proud of is that Famous is going to be free and it's going to be open sourced under the MPL v2 which is the Mozilla public license. Um, and second, we're going to share the first things that we've built uh, in Famous and uh, there's going to be four examples that we're going to share with the world. Awesome. So let's jump right into that and you can sort of show us all the stuff you've been working on. Great. Um, this is sort of one of the uh, favorite things that we show that sort of highlights how our render works. What we're seeing here is a pure HTML render um, and it's doing some stuff that you're really not supposed to be able to do and in fact uh, what's happening here is this is actually being controlled and generated by music on the fly and we're seeing things that uh, normally you don't see in, in HTML. This is in full 3D. And we're seeing uh, box shadows here that are supposed to slow down uh, animations, but they're not in this example. And you can kind of see over here, uh, what's happening is that we are creating and multiplying the matrices to arrive at a composite matrix and then injecting that directly into the GPU through an API called Matrix 3D. Mm -hmm. And what's cool about that is it's not a hack. It's a mm -hmm. W3C approved CSS3 attribute. And that really means that we can work in any modern browser that's W3C compliant. And the second thing that we, we can take a look at here, and this is an example, let me turn the music uh, down and off. This is an example of our physics engine. And one of the things that a physics engine is really powerful with is a, is a concept called infinite composability. Mm -hmm. It just means that the physics engine can simply gobble up complexity and deal with it very, very elegantly. And one of the things that's a big deal for developers is uh, responsive design. And really what responsive design uh, deals with is you either have a viewport, which could be a phone or a tablet or a computer, that is changing in size. And you have a certain amount of elements that are going into that um, screen, and you need to rejigger and relay out those elements very, very smartly. Or the inverse, uh, you, have the, you have the same exact uh, viewport, but you're adding elements to it. Mm -hmm. Here, the constraint or the view is a 3D sphere, and the elements are these little blue dots. Mm -hmm. And if I add some elements here, you can kind of see the problem of responsive design sort of illustrate itself. The idea is how can I now take all these objects and disperse them equally? In JavaScript, to custom code that gets quite complex, especially as you add even more complexity as time goes by. But in physics, the beautiful thing is you get it for free because I simply add repulsion to each of these elements. And then I, then I get responsive design for free. But that was just one order of magnitude more complexity. Mm -hmm. Let's really start messing with this system and let it recover automatically in physics. And I can take this to levels um, that would be basically impossible to try to figure out how to code custom. I can even start rotating this and disassembling the scene completely until I get to the point where I'm staring at Saturn and I'm taking this view around in space. And now add, add elements to this. And this is where I was talking about the physics engine just gobbles mm -hmm. them up and puts them in to the view in the correct way. One of the things that's been extremely important to me is, is jQuery changed my life because it made coding accessible to me. It made me want to learn how to code and then I sort of then achieved after that. One of the things we've done in Famous is made this type of stuff accessible. So we've worked for over a year on a thing we call Famous Sugar, which we hope completely replaces jQuery. We sort of modernize jQuery in a big way. And the beauty is, is since we are open source, mm -hmm. we can share the source code. So we can get to that right-click view source world all over again. And in fact, what we've been staring at here is our Physics 101 course. So every single person that learns Famous will be able to build this in a couple hundred lines of code, and it isn't hard. And that's one of the beauties of Famous we think is super important. Cool. So now that you've built that, like, 
show us how that changes you know, the things that you can build actually with it or the widgets that you've created. So one of the things we said was, let's go take the three most popular jQuery widgets on Earth, the ones that everyone uses, and redo them in full mm -hmm. 3D and make them use physics to handle their animation. And so here's an example of one that we've created, um, and it's Lightbox. It's the concept of uh, clicking on an object and then it highlights it in space. A normal light box simply shows it and then, and then puts everything behind it. In Famous, we actually can control that with physics and get a very fluid motion. And if you're actually watching this closely, um, every single object in here is controlled by physics and is springing in with springs and um, the motion feels incredibly uh, natural. I can uh, change tons of things in here to begin modifying this scene on the fly. Mm -hmm. And what you'll see here is if I modify it enough, for example, if I change the column gutters, this has automatic responsive design built into it. And now I can click out of here and see that I have a completely different experience where I'm pushing the objects much further back in space and I have a much tighter grid pattern. But another thing that we can do is build app templates that make building apps easier. One of the most common things that has been difficult for an HTML5 developer is infinite scroll with momentum. That is having a very, very long scroll view and being able to scroll through that without getting jitter or flicker. Right. What I have here is an example of Twitter. Um, this is just a pure HTML representation that Famous rendered. And uh, we can scroll forever on this at 60 frames per second, no problem. Um, and I can interrupt the animations in the middle. So basically developers will be able to use this, recreate, Facebook, recreate, Twitter, whatever they want without having to worry about all those HTML5 issues that slow things down. In HTML5, it's sort of a black box and you don't have a lot of control. In Famous, we do have boundaries. Uh, we have limitations. The difference is, is that in Famous, you know what those limitations are. The atomic unit in Famous is what we call a surface. So you're always counting surfaces at any given time and you've got to watch out how many you're trying to render simultaneously. And the beauty is, is in Famous, you're, you can actually walk through uh, this app and count how many surfaces exist to know exactly when you're going to hit that limitation. And in this pr particular example, we're quite safe. We can render to HTML with our render, but mm -hmm. we can also render to WebGL in the future. And the difference there is where HTML can handle about 500 surfaces here. Mm -hmm. We could potentially handle millions in WebGL. So that means the fidelity goes through the roof as soon as WebGL is turned on on all the devices. And we're pretty close to that. So as far as timing, when, does all, when do you launch all this? When are you right. making it available? So um, we are starting this Thursday by releasing packages of demo. This Thursday mm -hmm. is all about the widgets and app templates. And for every week thereafter until the end of February, we're going to release new demo examples on CodePen. In late February, um, we're going to be launching uh, Famous in full beta. So we're in private alpha now with a bunch of companies who are mm -hmm. using Famous to pre-build a bunch of stuff um, in Famous so that when we launch in late February, we're going to be able to show a lot of super cool examples of what you can do with us. Okay, cool. Well, look forward to seeing it. Good luck uh, getting those developers to build apps and, um, you know, hope it goes well. Yep, thank you very much. Yeah.